Okay, so the microscope comes in a protective bag. It's fitted on all phones uh, I've tried it on. The clip's sturdy. If you choose not to use it on your phone, you can just detach it like that. It comes with a focus knob, seems to work. And you can have the light on. We'll test how good that is in a second. This is, claims to be ultraviolet, but it's definitely giving off at least violet because I can certainly see it. This piece of plastic acts as a diffuser to get the light evenly spread around whatever you're illuminating. Uh, and it does claim to be times 60. I'll check that out too. So let's have a look at the micro printing on a tenor. There appears to be little animals down in the corner there. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Definitely not times 60 though. Let's try it with the light on and the light off, see if there's a difference. So the, the white light is giving uh, colors that are more true to life, I think. And what's the quote from this, this person? I declare, after all, there's no enjoyment like reading. Hmm. I guess you never played Team Fortress. Let's try the UV. On the microscope does appear to be genuine UV as well. That five and the 10 isn't visible under white light. Let me show you. So it must be fluorescing. Oh, it's dark in here, I can't find the switch. There we go. Yeah, that five and 10 is not visible under the white light. Oh, so that's impressive. So I wonder if the light will overwhelm or blow out the camera. So I'm in the dark. Let's turn the little light on the microscope on. Oh, hello, madam. That's the queen. No, it's uh, not so bright that it overwhelms at least my Samsung S7. This is millimeter graph paper. Come in. Hello. Hello, Lara. Give me a second here. Well, on my phone, unmagnified, that one millimeter squares are now about seven millimeters. So that's a times seven magnification, not times 60. I mean, I suppose I could zoom in. Not sure why I need a magnifying glass then. So if I zoom in now, the magnification, well, one square is now one, two, three, it's about 38 millimetres, 37, 38 millimetres. So it's not even times 40 with my cheeky bonus zoom. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed. So fingerprints look okay and you can zoom it on the phone. Please don't steal my identity. It's kind of gross. So in an attempt to get my time 60, I'm gonna project up onto my smart board. Smart, my ass. It's just a piece of plastic. Alrighty, so I'm getting 75 millimeters here. So this is time 75 if you put the magnifying glass on the phone and then project it up. So here's the bismuth that I bought from AliExpress. It took me ages to get this beautiful crystal, but let's look at it under the microscope. Yeah, you can definitely see some detail there. So is it worth it? Uh, of course it's worth it, even if it's only times seven and not times 60 magnification. Uh, I've put uh, something to click in the description below. Uh, click it, I, I don't make any money. I don't want like three cents for your microscope purchase. That's well worth it. And maybe there's an IA involved. Uh, what if you changed the voltage, kept the current the same and measured the speed of crystal growth, something like that. My uh, missus wanted to buy a UV inspection kit for hotels, but I think if you did that, you'd never stay in a hotel again. <laughs>